All right, starting out pretty simple with this first one here. 49 plus n equals 83. Our goal is to get this by itself on one side of the equal sign. So we'll just leave it on this side of the equal sign, meaning all we need to really worry about on this one is getting rid of this 49, which would be positive because there's nothing in front of it. Inverse operation for positive 49 would be negative 49 or minus 49. So that's going to cancel out. Now I just need to uh, minus 49 on that side, and that would be 4 and 3. And then all we would have left on this side is n, so n would be 34. Uh, as far as points go on the quiz, what you just did with the inverse operations were 2. Uh, this answer is going to be worth 1. And then the checking part is going to also be worth 2 for 5 altogether. So for the checking part, we just need to rewrite the actual problem. We know now that 34 is in, so I'll just put it in here, plus 34 equals 83. If this is a true sentence now, that means that this is going to be right. So 49 plus 34, 49 plus 30 is going to be 79, uh, plus 4 more is going to be 83. If this checks out, then that does. If you've got all of this, quiz tomorrow you'll have 5 points. All right, number 16. Our goal, get x by itself. We have a times 35 here and a minus 8 here. So we want to keep x where it's at, so we've got to move everything else around. So we'll start with any pluses and minuses that we have here that are going to be add or subtract. So we have minus 8, so inverse operation, we plus 8. It's going to cancel that out. So we're just going to add 8 over here. That's going to be, what, 170, let's see, 175. Now all I have left, because I cancel that out, is just a 35x. Still trying to get this by itself, this is times 35. The inverse operation would be to divide by 35. So if I do an inverse operation, this is going to cancel itself out. Now I just have x, I've got to do the same thing to the other side. Uh, if I do 175 divided by 35, I'm going to get 5 for an answer. So my answer is going to be x equals 5. This stuff's 2 points, 1 point for the correct answer, and then another 2 points for the checking step. If I have 35 times 5, I'll just write it like this because this means the same thing as multiplication, 35 times 5, minus 8 needs to equal 167. If I do this problem, 35 times 5, 30 times 5 is going to be 150, 5 times 5 would be 25, add those together, that would be 175. Now I've got 175 take away 8, 175 take away 5 would be 170, 3 more would be 167, that checks out, that means that does 2, if you've got all this, 5 points for this part. Real quick and simple one here involving only one step. Our goal is, here's the equal sign, we want to get h by itself on the side here. So in order to do that, we've got the 7 over here, which we're not going to worry about because it's already on the opposite side. This is what we need to worry about. This right here is a division of 42. So we have to do an inverse operation, which would be a multiply by 42. Anytime you do opposite inverse operations, you can cancel them out. Now all I have to do is the same thing on the other side, which would be to be times by 42. Uh, 42 times 7 is 294. So I've got 294 equals h. Okay. Inverse operations get you two points. Answer gets you a point. Now we've got to do the checking step. So I've got 7 equals h we decided was 294 divided by 42. Now all we have to do is actually divide that out. On my calculator here, I've got 294 divided by 42. 294 divided by 92 is 7. This is right, which means that our original answer of this was also right. If you've got all this stuff, 5 points for this question. All right, last problem in our set of 4 here. We're going to have a little bit more than to do than the last one because we've got a couple of different things. Here's our equal sign. 
our goal is to get x by itself. We have a multiply by 2 and we have a subtract by 12 to get rid of so this is by itself on a side. So I'm going to start with this subtract 12 inverse operation is going to be to add 12. Add 12 on the other side Oops. we're going to get 12 and 12 make sure you're not confused here that's a 1 12 and 12 is just going to be 24. So, so far, after we did this, now we have 2x equals 24. All we have to do is get rid of this 2 that's attached onto our x. Uh, that is 2 times x, that's times, so we've got to do inverse operation. That's just going to be divide by 2, which is going to cancel that out. So now we have x equals whatever 24 divide 2 is. 24 divide 2 is just going to be 12. So x equals 12. Two points for this stuff, one point for this, uh, and then we have our checking step that you need to show to get two more points. So we have two times whatever x was, which we said it was 12, and then we have to subtract 12, and we should get 12. 2 times 12 is going to be 24. 24 minus 12 is 12. That checks out, so that checks out. And as long as you have all this stuff, five questions, five points. Uh, this is your last practice for a test tomorrow, so make sure if you have any additional questions that you please let me know.